Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I just watched Kansas State beat Texas in Austin in college basketball, and it was kind of fun. It was a great game, actually. 66-65 on Tuesday night down there in the drum, the horrible basketball facility they have. They would never show the crowd because it probably wasn't very full. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Please, we really need it to help boost our algorithm. And also, uh, if you like the video, hit like. This is Bruce Weber's little trick he likes to pull. So fans were really mad after they lost to TCU to go 0-4 in the conference in a season in which fans hoped that K-State would be better and they'd showed signs of being better. The Twitter outrage, the social media outrage was everywhere. And what Bruce Weber does is a little odd, but it works. He weaponizes that discontent from his own fan base with his team. And the players mentioned it after they beat Texas Tech on Saturday that they don't appreciate that kind of talk about their head coach. Well, fans haven't been very happy, and there's a long story to why, and the guys that have come in just this season probably don't know the whole story. But still, Weber has found a way to motivate his team, and by golly, it's worked. They beat Texas Tech, and then they turn around and beat Texas. Back-to-back -back ranked teams in the Big 12 have fallen to the Cats, who are now 2-4. and four. A lot of work to be done. And that work continues on Saturday. And Bruce Weber was left after the game talking on post-game radio about getting fans to come to the game on Saturday. Almost begging. And that's where K-State basketball is. So many of you are so done with the up and downs of this program. Up and downs that have been on display here at the start of the Big 12 season this year. But this team is better. And these guys are invested. And players like Mark Smith, who's been an absolute revelation for Kansas State basketball as a fifth-year senior transfer, they got some dudes that really can get it done. Smith had 22 points and eight rebounds against Texas. He leads the Big 12 in rebounding when he's not even really a power forward. He's a, he's a three, hitting big shots, making big plays, and being a great leader. The whole team got buzz cuts leading up to the Texas Tech game. Kind of unified them. And now there's a call for the fans to do the same. And look, I'm in the media, so it doesn't really matter what I do, but I've agreed that I too will shave my head for Saturday's game against Kansas. Maybe more fans will be there on Saturday than there have been, and I hope they enjoy the glare from my head.